Hey, good morning, Facebook family. Good morning, Potter's House family. Hey, this is Elder Fred Cantu, my wife, Denise. We're here to share. You know what time it is. It's Thursday. It's that time of the week where we're going to share the word. We're going to share what God is revealing, what God is doing. I know we're a little early, uh, but that's okay because uh, we're ready to go. So uh, let's pray. Father, we do. We thank you as we come together in your mighty name. We honor you, we praise you, Thank and we you, give Jesus. you the glory yes, today. So, Father, as we go forth in your word, Father, open up our hearts, mm -hmm. open up our minds, remove every distraction, Father, that yes, we can Jesus. receive all Hallelujah. that you have for us, even this day, yes. this day, today, Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, it's always good. The sun is shining. The sun <laughs> is shining. And the, it. it I'm just so glad that the sun is shining this morning. <laughs> I've had enough of the rain and the in the cold weather. But I'm just going to share with you is what God has uh, continued to speak to me, uh, what He's showing to me. I'm gonna I'm in the book of John, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a verse in chapter seven of John, chapter seven, verse thirty-eight. Um, and this is uh, what. Jesus is speaking. This is Jesus. He's speaking to the crowd. He stands up in the midst of the crowd and he says this. He says, if anyone thirsts, yeah, if it, excuse me, if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Verse 38. And he says, he who believes in me, as the scriptures have said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living waters. Hallelujah. That's there is a just indicating that as we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, he says he will flow rivers of living yes, waters yeah. out from us. You know, uh, I shared a few weeks back from the book of Ezekiel, and I'm going to turn there because there's what happens when we flow in the spirit of God and we flow and allow God to move through us and in us, things happen. Things have begin to change and, and things begin to take shape. But here in Ezekiel, and we all know this, it's in Ezekiel 47. I shared from it a while ago, but I'm going to pick up in verse number five, Ezekiel 47, verse five. And again, he measured 1,000 and, and, it, and it was a river and I could not cross for the river was too deep, uh, too deep water in which one must swim a river that could not be crossed. Verse six, and he said to me, son of man, have you seen this? Then he brought me to the return to me and to, to the bank of the river. Verse seven, when I returned there along the bank of the river were very many trees, one side and the other. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of Psalms, it says that we are those trees planted by the river of water. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. that it, we bring much Amen. fruit in those seasons. Yes. You know, God has even called us, we are trees of righteousness. Mm -hmm. You know, as we stay connected to the spirit of God and to the flow of God, he's that we're gonna be fruitful in all that we do. We're gonna, we're gonna keep producing and keep mm -hmm. manifesting yeah, his amen. presence. And I'm gonna, now I'm gonna keep reading from Ezekiel 47. And he goes on to say, in verse, um, I'll start in verse seven again. And when I returned along there, along returned there along the bank of the river, were very many trees on one side and the other. Then verse eight, and he said to me, "This river flows towards the eastern region, goes out into every valley and stream when it reaches the seas and its waters." I, what I want to jump down to is that it, um, is where it he says to us. That wherever the river goes, there's life. Mm -hmm. And I want to just reassure us today that what God has put inside of us, when he stood up and he said, whoever believes in me, out of him will flow rivers of living waters. You know, you have the life of Christ in you. Mm -hmm. And people are thirsty. They're yes, hungry. They're, they're looking for something. Some are in a dry place, even in this moment. There's maybe a person that you're thinking of right now that you know is in a place of, of spiritual dryness. And what you have inside of you 
is a river that can bring that refreshing because yes, it's not amen. coming from Fred and it's not coming from you, but it's coming from the power and the authority through the Holy Spirit yes, manifesting amen. in amen. you that we bring forth what God's what God intended is that river of life flowing through us. That's why in Ezekiel, he says it wasn't meant for us to cross over. It was meant for us to stay in that flow and that stream mm -hmm. of that spiritual river that God has put inside of us. Yeah, it's amen. not meant for us to go back and forth or for a season. Oh yeah, I remember when I felt the Lord way back. No, it's meant for you to stay in that flow and in that vein of mm -hmm. what God is doing because when you're there, it says wherever the river goes, life is produced and you carry the abundant life of God inside yes, of you because amen. the word says that we are the temple. Do yes. you not know? Do you not know that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit? Yes, God has, called, has made a dwelling place, a habitation with you and out of you will flow those rivers of living waters because yes, God is going to produce it. It's nothing that we can do, yes, but it's everything amen. that God is able to amen. do. What is impossible for man is not impossible for God. I heard God say that this morning as I was praying and getting ready for work. I heard him say, Fred, what is impossible for man is not impossible for yes, me. Amen. So whatever you're facing, whatever trial, whatever circumstance, if you're in that place of dryness, no, there's a river inside of you. There's something yes, that God amen. has placed in you, and that something Hallelujah. is the Holy Spirit. It manifests within us, and, it, yes. and it's there for you to obtain it and to walk out it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says in Isaiah 41, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump over there. Real quickly, in Isaiah 41, um, verse 18, it tells us this. It says, it says, I will open up rivers mm -hmm. in desolate heights mm -hmm. and mountains in the midst of valleys. And I will make a wilderness a pool of water and dry land springs of water. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's a promise to yes, you and I amen. that wherever you are at, God is able to fulfill those areas, those spiritual places of dryness. You may think, oh, I'm too far gone. God is saying, no, I will even yes, in those amen. desolate places. He says, in those desolate places, I will open up a river. Hallelujah. He's just waiting for you to come into that place. One last scripture and then I'm done. And I'll turn it over to my wife. Found in the book of Revelations. Mm, the book of Revelations. <clears throat> <clears throat> and this is what uh, John was sharing. He, he, God was showing to John as he was uh, on the island of Patmos. And he said here in this, he said, and he showed, John 22, or excuse me, <laughs> Revelations 22, verse 1. And he said, and he showed me a pure river of water of life. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Clear as crystals proceeding yes. from the throne of God Amen. and That's of the Lamb. Amazing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me go on. It says, in the midst of that uh, of its streets and on either side of the river was trees of life. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel said God took him back to the bank and he says, let me, have you seen this? Showing him, mm -hmm. I'm showing you mm -hmm. that if you stay close to that river, there's life there. There's others that are Amen. planted there. Yes. You're not in this alone. We're not in this in this walk mm -hmm. alone. But there's many, it says that in, yes. in Hebrews, it says we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses that they're there cheering us on. Hallelujah. Amen. You have yes. Hallelujah. people that and, and angels of God that are cheering you on to finish this race yes. strong. Amen. Whatever place you're Amen. at, know that you have a river of flowing through you. And it goes on, it says, which bore 12 fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of these trees were for the healing of the nations. Mm -hmm. Praise be to Amen. God. What you have inside of you, what I have inside of me, mm -hmm. it brings healing, Amen. not only to yes. my body, Hallelujah. not only to my family, but to nations, to those yes. that we come in contact Hallelujah. with. 
God is releasing that river in his church today. In the ecclesia, he is releasing that river of life that we can bring healing to the nations. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to turn it over to my wife. I know she's going to bless us, and then we're going to pray. Hallelujah. 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 I just want to add to that with what mm. Fred was saying about the living water. In Isaiah 55, um, verses 1, the scripture says, Ho! Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. Hallelujah. There's an exclamation mark there. Amen. <laughs> and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Yes, mm. come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Amen. Amen. Why do you spend money for what is not bread and wages for what does not satisfy? Mm-hmm. When he says come and buy and that you didn't need money, what he's saying is if you would invest in this, hallelujah, mm. it's free, free of cost, mm. hallelujah. Amen. It says, Amen. Um, listen carefully to me and eat what is good and let your soul mm-hmm. delight itself in abundance. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Remember we were learning about our soul, the mind, will, and emotions. It says yes. incline your ear and come to me here and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting yes. covenant with you the sure mercies of David hallelujah mm-hmm. so this living water hallelujah it is, is free of purchase but there there's an investment that that's made there you have to um you have to desire it you have to put a look put an effort to come and listen and hear what God is saying Amen. unto you today hallelujah so I just praise the Lord, hallelujah, for his resources, hallelujah, mm-hmm. because that living water flows, even times of drought, even times mm-hmm. of difficulties or um, adversities, that living water begins to flow through us as we yield and press in to the Holy Spirit and God's goodness for us, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Man, you, I, I, I'm telling you, you can just feel what Amen. God is doing yes. even in this moment. Hallelujah. Even right now, because God is stirring his body. He's stirring oh, his, yes. his body of believers to release what he's put inside of you. Again, yes. it's Hallelujah. it's in that place where we're submitted to God and letting God be him of who he is. You know, he's the great I am. Yes. You know, And just let him manifest through you. It's nothing, again, it's nothing that I'm doing. Yes. It's nothing Amen. that my wife is doing, but it's what we're allowing God to do through us. That we create that river, that yes, stream, amen. that well of that Praise fountain God. of water Hallelujah. that just bubbles up because God is looking for Hallelujah, his church to Jesus. arise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you today Father, yes, for your Lord. word. We thank Praise you, Father, you that, has, that it has gone forth, Father yes, God. Jesus. And Father, we thank Lord you that even Jesus. each and every viewer, each and every listener is planted, is yes, those trees Jesus. planted Hallelujah. by the rivers thank of water you, that bring forth its Praise fruit in God. season. Hallelujah. 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 So we thank you, Father, yes, that, Jesus. Father, that they stay in that place, Father God, that they stay Lord, in that Lord, place, that they have that Lord, life stream Lord, and that Lord, life flow of the spirit of God and father just as Jesus spoke to to his disciples that he who thirsts let him come unto me father I thank you that you've given us that that place that we can look to Jesus Jesus. and we can draw from him because out of him flows that river of living water so father we bless each and every individual today hallelujah in jesus name father we call for the opening of wells within the people that are hearing we open those wells Mm -hmm. of living water hallelujah we stir the power of the holy ghost within each one father god we pray that if anyone is suffering today or is hurting physically, emotionally, mentally. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. God, that you would send your spirit Mm -hmm. in the very midst of their situation, Lord, and bring um, remedy. Hallelujah. Bring resources. Bring a breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We send the fire of God Mm -hmm. to devour anything that should not be there, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And we thank you for Hallelujah. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. And may the Lord make his face shine upon you you and be gracious to you. And the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. 
So your name is upon Amen. his, or his name is upon his yes. children, and they are blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Amen. have a blessed rest of your week. We look forward to Thank seeing you, you on Jesus. Sunday, and have a good, good, and great weekend. Hallelujah.